Hey guys, it's John from John's DIY Playground. Kind of a rainy day here at the playground, but uh, we've got our truck under cover here. This is a 2017 Ford F-150 XLT Super Crew with the short five and a half foot box. Now I want to open up the front stake pockets so that I can mount a Adirac um, vertical rack so I can put my kayaks up on top. Um, but in the short boxes for several years now, Ford has only allowed openings in the rear stake pockets in the back of the bed, but none in the front, even though the stake pockets are there. So let me get a little bit closer and show you what we're talking about. So we're at the back of the truck right now. Here's the back end. And uh, Ford puts this cap right here. You can just take a, like a pen cap or whatever and pry at this thing. And you can see that's the rear stake pocket right here. Um, it's nice flush mount and recess. There's no such plug like this on the front end of the truck rail. So that's what we're gonna do today. We're gonna cut up, open the uh, the rail and hopefully keep it as pretty as possible and expose the, the, the um, stake in the front. So I'm starting off on the passenger side of my truck here and you can see I've used some blue painter's tape to uh, make it a little easier to see. And uh, for this particular pocket, I uh, got some measurements from uh, someone else on one of the forums and it looks like um, the starting mark from the front edge of the truck is going to be two and three quarters. I actually came in another eighth inbound because I'm going to use a jigsaw and I don't want my jigsaw blade to touch any of the metal of the frame. So um, <clears throat> I took this to two and three eighths from this edge to here and then the other cut is supposed to be all the way from this edge here is five inches. I pulled in again an eighth to four and seven eighths inches. For the cuts from the width here, left to right, I'm measuring from the edge of the um, cap here, inbound a half inch. It's the same measurement as if you look at the rear uh, stake plug. And uh, again, came in a half inch and the same here is from the edge to here to the blue mark is two and a quarter. So I actually pulled in an eighth of an inch there as well. I'm gonna drill a hole around 5 16 diameter right here where the X is so I can put the jigsaw blade in there and then we can get started with that. All right, so a moment of truth here with the drill. Let's take care of this hole real quick and hopefully we don't hit metal. Oh, that felt good. So far, so good. Didn't touch anything when we went through. Now we're gonna use our jigsaw and cut this hole open. <clears throat> I'm not gonna cut all the way to the line right now. I just wanna cut a smaller hole and see uh, how my actual lines look to what the pocket looks like. So just cut this up now. So our initial cut reveals that yes, it looks like we are pretty much in line from what I can feel down here. The lines look good. So I'm going to open this up just to where the black marks are for now. Okay, so I took the cutter pretty much almost to the edge here of my not to exceed point, a little left of my black mark. This one in the front, I actually started to hit metal up in this corner because it's rounded a little bit inside the stake pocket. So once I hit metal, it backed off. I didn't quite make it to uh, my furthest out mark. On this one, um, I could probably take off a little bit more, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna leave this as is now. And when my um, upright 
rack comes in. I'm going to put it in the stake pocket, see how the fit is. If I need to open it up more, I will. If not, then no big deal. I just don't want to take out more than I have to. So with that, I'm just going to peel away this tape now and uh, you can get an idea of what it looks like. I haven't cleaned it up with uh, Dremel or anything at all. I was thinking of maybe uh, just kind of trimming the edges a little bit with like a Dremel with the sanding bit on it. But um, again, I can do that after I mess with the uh, the rack. So looks pretty good. I'll take some overhead pictures of it too so you guys can see what it looks like more closely. Uh, but that's it for now. This is John from John's DIY Playground. Hope you liked it. Please give me a thumbs up if you did and subscribe for new videos. Have a great day.